Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer today for May 2nd, 2021. Glad that you are with me today. Let's go ahead and get started. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We are illumined by the brightness of his rising. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Death has no more dominion over us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. O Lord our God, we give you thanks that through the gift of our baptism, you have poured out your grace upon us and claimed us as your beloved people. By the power of your Holy Spirit, help us to love and serve you always, and to love and serve one another. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Our devotion for today is a minute for mission for Legacy Giving Sunday. This is Carolyn Davis Rourke. Carolyn Davis Rourke has been a member of her church for her entire life. It's a place of hope, friendship, and a place that challenges her spiritually. And it's a place that she wants to be around for generations to come. That's why she decided to leave a gift to her congregation in her estate. She's a member of First Presbyterian Church in Durham, North Carolina. She's part of a growing number of Presbyterians who have left gifts to the church through life insurance proceeds, beneficiaries of retirement plans, wills, estates, and trusts. I've pledged and tithed my entire life to my church, but I've never felt like I could give as much as I wanted to, Rourke says. By leaving a gift to the church in my will, I can give them what I wasn't able to do during my lifetime. And that's really important to me. Watch a video about First Presbyterian's legacy giving program here. You too can leave a legacy to support the ministry of your congregation, ensuring the congregation has that has nurtured your spiritual life and served your community thrives for generations to come. Please consider making a gift to your church or ministry that tells the story of your hope in Christ. Each will is unique and must be structured to fit the needs and estate plans of each individual in accordance with the laws of the state in which they live. For this reason, you should consult a lawyer to assist you in drafting your will and estate plan. The Presbyterian Foundation is able to assist congregations and church members who are ready to think about how to share all that God has given to us. Your ministry relations officer can help you. Uh, you can find yours at presbyterianfoundation.org forward slash MRO. Written by Robin Davis Sakula, Vice President of Communications and Marketing at the Presbyterian Foundation, Ruling Elder in the PCUSA and member of Highlands Presbyterian Church in Louisville. Now let us join our hearts together in prayer. Oh, let's do this. Today's focus is Legacy Giving Sunday, so keep that in prayers. Also let us join in prayer for Bintu Jolo of the Board of Pensions and Ellie Johns Kelly of the Presbyterian Foundation. Let us pray. Dear God, teach us to be generous with all that we have, which all comes from you. Help us to discern the best path in caring for all that has been entrusted to us. Teach us to hear your call. Now let us join together in prayer. Today we have the litany for Easter. O Christ, after your resurrection, you appeared to your disciples. You breathed on them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. You gave joy and exaltation to the whole creation. Through your victory we pray to you. Hear us, Lord of glory. O Christ, after your resurrection, you sent out your disciples to teach all nations and to baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You promise to be with them and us until the end of the world. Through your victory we pray to you. Hear us, Lord of glory. O Christ, through your resurrection, you lifted us up and filled us with rejoicing. Through your salvation, you enrich us with your gifts. 
Renew our lives and fill our hearts with joy. Through your victory we pray to you. Hear us, Lord of glory. O Christ, you are glorified by angels in heaven and worshipped on earth. On the glorious feast of your resurrection we pray to you. Hear us, Lord of glory. Save us, O Christ, our Lord, in your goodness. Extend your mercy to your people who await the resurrection and have mercy on us. Hear us, Lord of glory. O merciful God, you raised your beloved Son, and in your love you established him as head of your church and ruler of the universe. By your goodness we pray. Hear us, Lord of glory. O God, you gave your only Son to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, and by his glorious resurrection you delivered us from the power of death. Grant us so to die to sin that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now, may we continue to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our prompt today for counting the Omer, ending up week four on victory or the inner parent. And today we are thinking of the sovereignty or outer reality of that victory. In what ways did my inner parent connect with my outer reality today? Were there times today when my outer reality made me feel confident or even dominant? What is the relationship between sovereignty and victory? Who is sovereign of my life? Thank you so much for joining me today for daily prayer. Join me tomorrow for some more. Like this video, share it with someone else. Click on the subscription and the notification button, as well as going to our website, johncalvinchurch.org, for more information. Our uh, our liturgy today came from the Book of Common Worship of the Presbyterian Church USA 2018 edition. Our devotion came from the Mission Yearbook, as well as Counting the Omer by Teresa Horton. Join us for worship at 1030. Um, We are actually celebrating both of our sacraments today, so that's an exciting thing. Um, And also join us for adult and children uh, Sunday school, and that is starting at 930. Both of those are able to be attended in person or virtually. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a very blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.